Hi guys, AG Dolls Down Under here, and before I get started with this video, I just want to give you a warning that I am going to be chatting about tarot cards in this uh, video, um, and I know that some people find them uncomfy or spooky, so if it's not for you, feel free to skip on. It's not a very large section of this video, but yeah, if that's something that you're not comfortable with, feel free to watch one of my other videos. I have so many. Hi everyone. So as I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to be starting a little mini series on my channel, which is a spotlight on each of my dolls as they all have pretty put together lore, um, personalities, style, and I have a couple other things I'd really like to share with you about them. So how this video will work is I'm going to show you the doll in her current outfit, talk to you about her personality, hobbies, etc. And then I'll show you a couple different outfits for the doll based on seasons. So one of the outfits will be a winter outfit, one outfit will be a summer outfit, and then we'll do a like a fancy going out outfit, like a very put together outfit at the end. So this is Raven, let's get started. I'll get the boring bits out of the way first. Raven is a Just Like You number 24 with extra freckles and a slightly curlier wig. She was my first doll ever and I received her in 2014. She's super sentimental to me and is like the first thing I'd save if my house was burning down. Let's chat a little bit more about Raven as a character. So Raven is studying at a university, as all of my dolls are. This university is called Innerstar U. If you get it, you get it. Raven, uh, so Innerstar U is a performing arts university that is connected with a larger campus overall. Very similar to the university that I went to here in Western Australia. Now Raven is studying visual arts and it's her main hobby. She loves drawing. If you see a picture in the background of a lunar moth, that is one of Raven's originals. She loves to draw and sketch and is often just sitting anywhere in the dollhouse having a little bit of sketch and a draw. When Raven isn't drawing, she also knows how to play the guitar and has been learning since she was a kid. She doesn't play as much anymore as her life has gotten quite busy with uni, but she loves to pick up the guitar every now and then and have a bit of a play. Raven can be described as a bit aggressive at times and quite self-centered. She loves everything all about her all the time and simultaneously wants to be the center of attention, but is also a little bit of an introvert. Raven can also be described as impulsive. She's quick to do new things and also quick to start any altercation. Uh, sometimes Raven isn't very good at accountability, so often she has to have one of the other dolls in the dollhouse, you know, tell her that she was in the wrong, and it takes her a little bit of time to agree with that statement. Now, as someone who's recently become obsessed with the Persona series, me, not Raven, uh, so the Persona series is a series of games where a lot of the characters are aligned with a tarot card. And as someone who's kind of been dabbling in tarot for a couple years now, um, I thought it would be something interesting I'd love to do for my dolls. Now, all of my dolls, with the exception of one, are aligned with a major arcana, so one of the named cards, like the world, the chariot, the star, the sun. Um, as opposed to the minor arcana, which there are four suits, just like a suit of cards, a number associated with each, and then instead of jack, queen, king, we usually go page, uh, queen, and king. So Raven here is <laughs> aligned with the card, the emperor. Now I'm using the tarot deck, Cats Rule the Earth. Um, I will show you the box for them now, so you can see if you really like the cards and want to buy yourself a set. Here we are. This is the Cats Rule the World, uh, Rule the Earth tarot deck. It's one of my favorites in my collection. And I would align Raven with the Emperor card. Raven needs to be the boss all the time. She's also pretty good at, you know, ruling the dollhouse. And as you can see, this very smug kitty, I would say Raven is also very smug. There's a close up of the card if you'd like to see the art. It's one of my favorite tarot decks. Now, as well as having a tarot card, I did assign all of my dolls a star sign. Raven is an Aries, <laughs> as you can see by her impulsiveness and her, you know, combative nature. She's definitely, you know, quick to, quick to anger, but she's also fiercely loyal of her friends. Raven is a really, really great friend to those who get close to her. Sometimes she finds it difficult to make friends and quite easy to keep them. Raven is quite abrasive so it takes a little while to become close friends with her but once she is your friend she'll protect you to the ends of the earth 
Her girlfriend is named Vienna, who is another doll in my collection, who you'll meet later. Um, Raven does identify as a lesbian and is uh, quite masculine in how she dresses and presents. Um, in terms of Raven's style, she always wears pants. This girlie never wears shorts, never wears a dress. The only exception is when she's sleeping. Her pajamas are short pajamas, unless it's of course winter and she needs to rug up. And at the beach. Raven doesn't really enjoy going to the beach. She doesn't like the sand. Uh, she finds it very frustrating. She hates when it gets in her toes and in her hair. And that's kind of based on how many times I've taken her to the beach in real life and it's so frustrating to get out of her hair. So Raven doesn't like going to the beach. She doesn't mind a sit by the river but she'd prefer to wear pants than bathers. She doesn't really want to go in. In terms of pop culture, Raven's favourite movie series is The Twilight Saga. Despite it not being very new, Raven isn't the kind of person who usually likes a sappy romance but she holds an exception for the Twilight series and she usually rewatches it every year, usually around Halloween. Even though it's not a very spooky movie, I think the vampires help get her in the spooky Halloween mood. Okie dokie, let's put Raven in a couple different outfits so you can get a sense of her style. Raven is usually in comfy and casual clothing. She very rarely dresses up. This outfit is pretty put together for Raven. She, you know, always wears her pants. Um, and usually is in a t-shirt or a jumper and occasionally a button-up. Raven uh, is just a comfy girly. She is always ready for having a sit, having a draw. She often gets in trouble from the other girls in the dollhouse if they go out for a, a nice night, maybe to a nice restaurant or they go see a show together. She's never dressed for the occasion. So I'm going to show you a couple different outfits for Raven, starting with this one. It is a shirt I recently got from Moon in Major, a friend who I bought a doll off, who you saw in my last video, a pair of leggings that I made, and some fake Doc Martens from uh, eBay. Now we have a winter outfit for Raven. Raven is a comfy casual icon, so she wears a slouchy beanie, a comfy pullover sweater, some wool pants and some boots. So even these pants are pretty put together for Miss Raven. She wears lots of fleecy things. She has quite a collection of different jumpers and hoodies. She's often wearing something really comfy and cozy, especially in winter. It's definitely Raven season. Another important thing to note about Raven's style is that she's always wearing a necklace that has a little deer on it. It's actually a bracelet that, that I got before I had Raven, but I put it on her and I don't think she's taken it off in the last maybe five years, considering that she's a 10 year old doll. She might have even worn it that whole, whole time. But yes, it's her necklace. She never takes it off. It's so cute. Yeah, it's her necklace. So in summer, Raven does not thrive. She's definitely a winter girly. She does not do well with the heat at all. So usually she has her hair tied up, a slouchy t-shirt, um, obviously a pair of pants, no shorts for Raven, and just a pair of sneakers. So Raven, as you can see, is carrying an envelope because she has a pen pal. She is pen pals with Pollyanna, who is uh, Sun Blouse AG here on YouTube's number 24 and they write letters back and forth and Christiania and I write letters back and forth and so yeah I wanted to include that Raven does have a pen pal and they write each other like once a month. Raven kind of rarely does her hair in any style at all so a messy bun is her go-to in summer because she doesn't know how to do anything else with her hair. Now lastly we have Raven in her nice going out outfit so this is her like Fancy dress up. So she's wearing a button up shirt, a pair of pants and some flats and her hair is tied back. Now, as you can see, it's not a super fancy outfit for Raven. Like she's still casual and still comfy, but a little bit more put together. So yeah, that is Raven's nice outfit. I really hope you enjoyed this doll spotlight on Raven. I think it's really fun to, you know, show off my collection in a more unique way than just an all my dolls video, which I've done before. But I think this way it'll help you get to know the character, um, as I don't really make stop motions anymore and I don't really use them in that kind of context where I'm, you know, showing off their characteristics all the time. So I think it's fun to, you know, have a little bit of play with how I introduce these characters to you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah.
have a have a little think if there's a doll you'd really like to see me do next in my collection if you know it well enough I'd love to you know hear your input on this series and if you'd like to see more I would eventually like to do every single one of my dolls but we'll see how we go and <laughs> I do have over 20 dolls at this point so we'll get there just a little bit slowly again thank you so much for watching I hope to see you again soon uh yeah AG Doll Center out have a great day <laughs>